One day after damaging winds tore part of the roof off at a local school and actually sent it flying into a neighbor's yard, we've learned the building will remain closed for the rest of the school year. Now the school is scrambling to move its equipment and supplies to another building so students can resume classes as soon as possible. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance joins us from our newsroom with details on the cleanup. Classes have been canceled for the second straight day at Resiliency Preparatory School. Now school officials say because of the roof damage, the doors will remain closed at least until the end of the school year. A lot of movement Friday at Resiliency Preparatory School. Furniture, tables, desks, teaching materials, textbooks, computers, um, phone systems, all that stuff that's required to make a school operational. The alternative high school has been deemed unoperational by Fall River fire officials after Thursday's high winds ripped the roof off and tossed it into neighboring yards. Although it's an older building, uh, it was built in 1908, um, we've never had uh, anything like this happen at that location. In his 10 years as chief operating officer for Fall River Schools, Tom Coogan says powerful weather has damaged other schools, but he says this one is rare. It was quite stunning when you got on scene and saw, you know, large sections of the roof peeled back. So uh, we have some voids in the top of the building now where you can actually see daylight. Aside from assessing the damage, the next step is to find a facility to teach all 215 students. So obviously picking up a school for 200 kids and moving it uh, in 24 hours notice is a, is a pretty challenging task. Uh, and we'll have that completed and hopefully we'll be back alive on Monday. Students will return to school about nine blocks away in the Cherry and Webb building that also houses UMass classes. Well, it's going to be a change for the first couple of days, but the goal is to keep the transition as smoothly as possible. School officials say one positive twist of fate from all of this, high school students will get to take classes in the same facility used by college students. Reporting in the newsroom, Shante Lance, Eyewitness News.